Eunice then begins to teach Harry a little of her craft. Valpurgis night, which is Sabbath, the day when all the denizens of the unknown cavort. Cavort? Party hearty, Harry. Oh, all right. <laughs> Harry, this is Galwin. Galwin, this is Harry Potter Jr. It's a mushroom. I told you I was a good student. <laughs> He's seen better days. Now, this whole transformation takes about 72 hours, so we really don't have much time left. We don't. She looked just like that, didn't she? Yeah. How'd you know? That Harry, my boy, is a troll. Or more specifically, Torok the troll. What's a troll? Oh, a, a fairy of sorts. A mean, a very strong. Look at that. Isn't that you? Yes. It's me, and that was Torok. Uh, wasn't Torok? Hand the chatter and listen up. There. Now, before there were countries, before there were presidents, there was just the world, one big place. And in this place, there were fairies and there were humans. Now, the leaders of both kingdoms decided that no one side would rule the other, that the kingdoms would be equally divided between the two of them. But that didn't set well with Torok and some of the fairies. They wanted to control the world, so there was a great big war. Well, the good humans won, and the rebel fairies were condemned to darkness. And Torok was turned into a troll. Yeah. For all eternity. But now he has vowed his revenge. He still wants to rule the world with his army, and that's why he's here. And that's why you're here? To stop him? That's my job, kiddo. But what is he doing here? I'm not quite sure. But I think that he's going from apartment to apartment. He's transforming sections of this building into different fairy worlds. And when he has succeeded in transforming them all, a single fairy universe will be formed within this building. It'll be filled with all his old fairy pals. And when that's done, that universe will burst forth like a fourth dimension. What about Wendy? She's alive somewhere. How can you be sure of that? Well, when Torak wipes out humanity, he will save one token specimen a fair-haired maiden, and she will serve as the princess of the fairies. Listen up, kid. We're getting right down to the wire here. Torok has just three days in which to complete his universe, or else he misses his cosmic chance. With her help, it becomes a final showdown between the world of the fairy and the world of men. The film wasn't the greatest success in the US box office, but with a limited release, it did gross over $4 million, which for a low budget film was pretty good. It even made way for a sequel. But if you go looking for the sequel to Troll, don't expect to find anything that was close to the original film. It has actually been rated the best worst film of all time. And if anybody has ever seen it, it is pretty bad. Goblins don't exist. Goblins don't exist. And remember... There was even two movies, both titled Troll 3. The one known as Troll 3 The Crawlers didn't even have any trolls in the movie. And Troll 3 Quest for the Mighty Sword may be the third in the Troll series, but it's also known as ATAR 4 Quest for the Mighty Sword. Which just becomes really confusing. In any event, neither one of them are actual sequels to the first movie. 
One of the most distinct features of this film were the special effects and creatures created for the magical world. <laughs> Troll also had a pretty incredible film score. One of the most standout points of this was when they recited the poem Fairy Queen. A gentle knight was riding across the plain, all clad in mighty arms and silver shield, where in old dints and deep wounds did remain the cruel marks of many a bloody field. Yet armies till that time did he never wield. His angry steed did chide his foaming bit. Upon a great adventure he was bound, that fairest Gloriana to him gave, the greatest, glorious queen of fairyland. Now, when that idle dream was to him brought, unto that elfin night, he bade him fly, where he slept soundly, void of evil thought, and with false shoes, abuse his fantasy. Starting again. give those little suckers something to think about. In the end, Troll might not have been the best movie made in the 80s, but it also wasn't the worst. It had a pretty decent cast, a nice solid script, and some really cool special effects. And hey, it may even inspired and created the Harry Potter universe we know today.